in general today, the two most common types of EB-5 investment structures are limited liability companies and limited partnerships. And what we've seen from EB-5 over the past decade is a majority of EB-5 deals are structured with those LPs. That's just the historical norm. And I'd say that the market is more accepting of that. Now, this partnership is going to be managed by a general partner, so a separate entity, typically an LLC, which will be the manager or managing member of the partnership. The standard EB-5 structure that we've seen, it can get much more complicated if there's multiple equity partners and JV partners coming into it. Um, and a little bit of it depends on the senior lender. It's important for your accounting and for your tax preparation, but also through EB-5 to properly have the funds from EB-5 flow according to the structure that's in place. Bridge financing comes when, if you are doing a development and a project and the funds are needed to start that project earlier than the EB-5 funds are available. For the EB-5 partnerships, th this is an entity, it's a partnership that is loaning money. So the foreign investors are partners and they're going to receive a K-1 and a filing as a, a partner in a partnership. Sometimes, you know, you do see where unfortunately someone wasn't aware and they deposited money straight into from the investment into the project and that just requires you know we have to have the documentation and it just it's a little bit of a wrinkle when you're trying to show the structure foreign reporting from a u.s perspective is a pretty hot topic and there's some pretty big penalties if you don't file on time so these are important to know and it's just a matter of staying on top of your investors as far as their status and making the correct filing so you can avoid any penalties until those individuals are a U.S. resident and they're living here and they have their U.S. ID number, they need to have an ITIN. Um, it's an identification number that as a partnership, you need to have to be able to file their tax returns. The developer of this is the Coulter Group, one of the largest private developers in the country. Um, at this point, the, the project is nearly complete. The hotel is actually open and operational already. We are running out of slots in this one. I believe we only have one or two positions left. So if you're interested, please, please reach out to us. And it's, uh, it's a very nice, unique equity project that's a little different than a majority of the EB-5 projects out in the market today.